The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate the growling and problem with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 43. Get the NASDAQ off four. S&Ps are flat. Gold is trading up 670 at 1222. We have silver up 15 cents, $16.22 an ounce. Platinum's up three at 909. Copper is flat. 249. We got light sweet crude up 73 cents, $46.61. Oil numbers at 10:30. That's right, and that we'll was see. that was quite a draw last night. Yeah. I heard your update. Yeah, yeah. 5.8 million barrels. I think yeah. draw, biggest draw of the year, and they were only expecting like one point something. Big, big, num big, big number. Got a little boost. We'll see. Yep. yep. Notes, notes, and bonds, folks, uh, basically saved themselves once again. Notes uh, up 10 ticks right now. 125.04. Bonds up a half a point. 151.08. Now both of them, they pulled back. They had dramatically lighter volume about 20 minutes before the close yesterday. Guess what? They caught a bid. They go topside, and uh, they're going topside today. And the 10-year the is over its consolidation again. It was that four-month consolidation. So it wants higher price, lower yield. And that's saying that, guess what? People are putting money into bonds, and there's something out there that uh, they want to be safe. King dollar, King dollar uh, down, down 74 ticks, 99.470. That's been coming into the gap from the, the down gap. It had good volume yesterday. We'll see what happens today. Uh, the volume is lighter as on that test. The euro is at 108 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is at 113 to the U.S. dollar. And the bottom line is that it doesn't matter what happens. Nothing phases this market. The market likes a new director of the FBI there, this morning. There's no, there's, we'll see. there's no doubt. <laughs> they it don't does, mind it. It doesn't, sure. it doesn't matter. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no doubt. Let's go over to Ohio man, Mr. Kevin Hinks of TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here at TFNN, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, you have swim lessons. And if you haven't test drove the TD Ameritrade Think or Swim platform, come over to our website. You're going to see the banner right in the very top. Hit the banner. You can bring up the platform that let you trade with paper money. It's an amazing platform. I've been on it forever. Feels like forever. <laughs> it's, it's, it, you know, it blows my mind how fast that time actually goes. That's for Cause, sure. Because it is, it is forever. It is quick, man. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. I want to. I, I think that your comments from early this morning are very O'Brienian. That's, Ooh, our that's new a new term. term. For, yeah. Remember, we learned a new term yesterday, Nixonian. Oof, so yeah. I, think, I think some of your comments are very O'Brienian. Totally. I'm going to start using that, Kevin. <laughs> I look forward to a day where someone ever says Hinksonian. There we Perfect. go, man. It's got to happen. That, that, that's right. that, that, That's an easy one, too. <laughs> we got to make jokes because there's nothing to talk about in this market. Is man, it, it's great. It's, I just pulled up the VIX again, 968. We're approaching yeah. crazy. Even he's down a quarter. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I yeah. Listen. Last night, Kevin, Tommy texted me, right, that, you know, the, the, the yeah. Comey got fired, right? Because Andy Hecht was still live, which yeah. was great. So, they had, yeah. so basically, I turned around, look at the futures, and, like, they're doing nothing. I'm saying to myself, this is absolutely amazing, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it's... it's yeah. Teflon. And it's, that was probably like seven, eight, nine o'clock when you had gotten when the, I, yeah, yeah, exactly. When you were, so they they might have had more time to react. Yeah, they had plenty still, of time to react. And guess what? Right. All all the discussions going on in this market now are individual names. It has it has very little to do with the overall market. Now Disney, did Disney's a lot of the talk this morning because of their earnings l last night. Yes. Beat on the number, missed on the revenue. ESPN still a big topic oh, of yeah. discussion as they really are attempting to put a tourniquet. On, on ESPN, let's put it that, that way. quite a little PR spin that they had going on there, that, um, sure. saying, you know, all the skinny bundles and all the bundles are going to include us. But, man, they are getting so much money per user from cable to be able yeah. to monetize it in the same way. It's kind of tough to understand. I think that's what the market's maybe looking at. Oh, there's no doubt. No. I read, the biggest part of your cable bill is ESPN. Yeah. yeah. The it's, biggest single channel i mean they had such a great deal you know where somebody else is almost selling their product and they're getting what was it seven eight nine dollars a user yeah and you had all the cable companies piping them in that's a great deal and, man. and, and, right. you, and you looked at those numbers i was going over those numbers last night when i was on the air it is actually it's, it's amazing because the the parks are going great 
The films are going great. Oh, yeah. But guess what? The films even like bring in like six hundred and fifty yeah, million like, a quarter. Right. The ESPN's bring in four billion. Yeah. It's, right. It's like oh my god. ESPN. ESPN we we have. You know, the, the company profile on the ESPN platform, you can hook up, hit, hit up and see. Right now, ESPN accounts for 27.2% of Disney's revenue. Wow. Just under parks and resorts. And oh, by the way, if you check this 12 months, 18 months ago, it was way over 33, 34%. It's down to 27. Yeah. And I imagine that number will be adjusted lower now when, when they uh, consume and digest all these numbers. And it is. So, it's an issue. It's only going to get tougher, right, when you have right. who's going to be competing for those live. And I know they're crazy expensive, and that's kind of what they talked about, is that buying the rights to those you know, programs yeah. of live sports is more expensive. But guess what? It's only going to get more expensive because right. that programming is going to be on Netflix or Amazon at some point in some capacity. And Right, and their biggest problem, Tommy, is they've got fixed costs. They've got these contracts yeah. with, these sporting, right. with, with sports, and all of a sudden, the other side of the ledger is in question, right? Yeah. which is the revenue. Right? Yeah. The, 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 the money that they pay out is fixed. Those are contracts. they right. got to pay it. But the other side is what's failing. And it up. could be a quick turnover, man. You know, as technology goes quickly, everything yeah. I hear from smart people says things are going to be here before we know it, whether it's flying cars, but guess what? Streaming, you know, video, that's, that's yeah. coming real quick down yeah. the line. Yeah. You, you think business doesn't change fast? Ask the retailers yes. if business doesn't change One to fast. two years, they better get their action in line, oh, man, for time. sure. Boom. Boom. Folks, right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. You want to understand options upside down? TFNN.com. Hit Tiger TV. Kevin, have a great one and a safe one. We look forward to the show at noon. Always a pleasure, guys. Have a great day. Thanks, Kevin. Have a great one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's down 46. NASDAQ is off 2. S&P's are down 1. We're going to right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now down 54. You get the Nasdaq uh, down two. Uh, S and P's are off one. And of course, uh, we. Uh, what do we got today? It's we Wednesday. have Wednesday. We have Wednesday. We have oil. We have EIA numbers coming in at 10:30. So you talked about those API numbers came out last night. There was a draw of 5.8 million barrels. So let's pull this back even a little bit further. And there's the numbers there, giving it a nice boost. I mean, pretty remarkable even from that point, right? We were yep. trading at 45.84. We're almost a dollar higher. We're 75 cents higher already. Um, so we jumped into the 11 a.m.s first. Let's take a look. Right now we're trading at 46.59. Okay. We're looking at the July, uh, sorry, the June contract. And what's nice here is we have 46.50 lining up if yep. we want it for the 11 a.m.s. That would be the buy. We have a little value to the upside, so that's going to be the more expensive one. The downside is going to be all premium. So you're looking at $32. Not bad. 32 cents away 32 from it. Cents. With a little bit of a market bias to the upside, as in you have 8 cents of value to the upside, okay. right? Um, not bad. You want to jump around to the Bloomberg? Yeah, please. So let's see. See. Nope. It sees. Yeah, oh. So crude's up 1.5% right now. Forty-seven twenty. Yeah, that's a good one. That's only 20 cents above where we're at. That's almost like where we're at, just to put things in, right? I mean, we're at 47. You're looking at okay. July here. Yeah. So we're, we're trading the June one. Okay. Let me get that. Thing. But I mean, it, it, you can pull it up. But you know, the area you're looking at is 20 cents above where it's currently at in the June contract. I'm assuming it's probably going to be, you know, 20 cents above where we're at. But you can see that it's going to cost us 32 cents, right? Now you're going to have 10 cents of of value here. Yep. Right now you're at 46.62. That's not enough, right? So you could get the 20 cent boost. So let's yep. say in the June contract, maybe that point you're looking at is like 46.80 or something, right? Yep. But that's barely break even, that's and that's, you want to be going for more than that, for right. sure. Yeah, that's not enough. Yeah, yeah. We'll let this play out. Let's, we I will. Think, we think we got a call. We just may. Let's see who we got. Paul from San Jose. Paul, hey. good morning. What's happening, Paul? Hey, what's happening, guys? Good morning, Tom and Tommy. How you guys doing today? Doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing awesome. Thanks for taking my call. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, yeah, man. So... This market, I mean, man, the VIX and everything, I was listening to the show earlier, and it's uh, it's hard to call it. And even yesterday in Washington, I don't know if you guys heard, there was a, uh, a nuclear reactor. Yeah, I that sure did. I saw that. Yeah, the... I turned on the news last night for a particular reason to see what they were saying, but they were covering that as well, and it was pretty remarkable. They had a tunnel collapse. They had alarms going off. Thankfully, it seems like everybody was all right, and there wasn't anything released. Right. But it shed some light into, like, man, they said it's, like, half the size of Rhode Island, this area that they have out there. Yes. Half the size of Rhode Island. With, with radioactive dust, That's so, yeah, quite, right. quite, quite a right. sizable yeah. area. Pretty exactly. remarkable. Yeah. yeah. I would think the VIX, I thought the VIX would be moving a little bit today just off the FBI <laughs> news, the, you know, nuclear reactor thing, but, you know, Well, I listen, don't know. The, 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 the nuclear, the nuclear, when I was live on the air at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, that was happening. Okay, So was it, it? it didn't even, like, affect it then. Yeah. It was like, because when I first pulled, I, I says, oh, my God, because that went across the top, you know, that there's a collapse out there. Yeah, no. It was remarkable just to hear because you don't hear it about it. Yeah. You know, that we are dealing with, I mean, that clinic's I, been going on since, like, what did they say, 1989 or yeah. something? Um, so it's been a long time. 1880, where they, when they shut it down. Um, yeah. You just... You just don't hear about that, right, until something goes wrong, unfortunately. Yeah. We'll have to see how that situation plays out. But the reason for uh, my call, I want to take a look at AAOI. Okay, so let's, and, um, let's take a look at this baby. So the, the low is $8. The highs today is $63.68. So what are you doing with this? Now, 
It's quite well, a 52 weeks. I've been a lot, um, but I'm hoping you could take me to school here, Tom. I've been studying your book. I'm still a total grasshopper, but I think, you know, I'm starting to pick up a couple things here and there. Okay. Um, so I was wondering if you could, I, to me, this looks like an ABC up um, with the A point being back in January, um, January 12th with that gap up. Okay. Um, around 2187, I believe. Yeah, I'll just put this on a weekly. Okay. <clears throat> And then I had the B point at 59.72. And it looks like we broke the B point yesterday with volume, but. Okay, cool. So here, let, let's look at this. This is pretty cool. So, so watch this, folks. You have, you have two separate ABCs, I believe, okay? The, so that January time frame you're talking about, that was actually, that's, that is a, a B to a C, to, taking a B out. Um, so he's setting the B there at November 25th that week. Yeah, of so that one, Paul. We, we, we get Just on, got, yeah. We, that, we, okay. can, we can say A is eight dollars, which is May 13th of 16. Yeah, and then B is 27, 28. So let's just call it 19 bucks, right? And then that gives you 21, 31, 40, 40 bucks. Uh, right. No, 19. I wasn't following. No, you. you what is? So you got eight dollars. And 27. So 28. Yeah, 28. 20 dollars. You said 40. And I said 19, but that's all right. Oh, okay. Okay. But I'm just saying with the... Then, oh, where it's going to go yeah, to. See, right. I lost you that quick. Right. They could lose you too. Okay. The so, A and B legs, 20 points. So, yeah, so coming that's, off that's that, like okay. 40, right? So you get to that one. Okay. So now let's see the next one that you're talking about. The next one... So the next one, now watch this. This is pretty cool. The next one wouldn't be an ABC up, Paul, and this is why. So okay. the definition, well, the definition in the out of time in the trade goes like this, is that you're up on volume, you're back on lighter volume, you're up on volume. And what happened here is that we went up on volume on, from the 13th, right, $21 of January, yep. of January, and you go up to 60. But see, as you come off of that, see the volume expand? It expanded dramatically, 19 million on the way down. So that negates the definition of an ABC structure on the way up. Because you never want to see higher volume on the way down. You want to see a contraction of volume. Yeah. So, um, see, on the daily, when I was looking at it, that, that big volume bar it, that, that it had, um, it was a big gap up. And it, it sold off all day long, but that, it still that, closed higher. That's correct. I, I'm, I'm with you there. And that is exactly what you do have. That being said, what you still have to do is take a look at the daily, take a look at the weekly, take a look at the monthly. And what I'll show you is okay. this, is that when we came off the high, on even on the daily now, on the 28th, you're going to see that uh -huh. the volume expanded on the 5th. April 5th. April yeah. 5th. And you don't want that to happen. So on the daily, that's not an ABC either because of that. Okay. 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 Now, what's also happening here is this. This has a 35% shot position, you know. So that's what's been driving this stock, too. This One stock out of a great day trading stock. I mean, this thing. Oh, just I bet. I'm just, I'm just explaining <laughs> that. Yes, when you get, this is a shot squeeze. This is a beautiful shot squeeze. Bottom line, each and every time that it goes higher, you know, one out of every three shares have to get bought. You know, so be careful, man. Okay, thank you, Tom. Okay, brother. Your help. Thanks, Paul. Have a All safe right, one. Have a you, good one, guys. You bye too, bye. man. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back with some oil numbers. Oh my God, the, the market is red. The S&Ps are actually no, down let's three restart, points. Let's we'll restart. we restart the computer over the break. Three points. Okay. We're going to be right back, folks. <laughs> Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. 
If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have crude inventories fell 5.25 million barrels. You had gasoline inventories down 150,000. You had distilled uh, down 1.59 million. And yeah, the Bloomberg estimate was a decline of 2.2. So we okay. had a decline of 5.2, basically 3 million barrels short, almost similar to what the API was, 3 yes. million barrels and prices going up. Uh, we're approaching that $47 value. We'll see if we can climb from there. The, the pivot point, again, that we were looking at would have been 46.50, so it would have about $50 in value right now, and it would have cost us about $33 with commissions maybe on, right. on either side. We'll see if it gets some acceleration. That would have worked out well in that the bias was to the upside, too, right. where we had right. 10 cents of value to the upside already, right. which was nice. Yeah, We'll see what happens. And let's take a look at the, uh, we'll just take a look at the market in general. So. Yeah. Um, you get the Dow down 62, NASDAQ uh, down 14, S&Ps are not moving. They're down $2.75. Pretty amazing. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness out here. You have uh, the, the weakness, of course, is Disney. Disney's putting the minus 20 points uh, in into the Dow. Apple, Apple's putting minus 12, Boeing 11, uh, 3M 8. Uh, putting positive into it is uh, Chevron plus 7, Caterpillar plus 6. Uh, inside the NDX 100, it's all about NVIDIA. NVIDIA um, is up 14.6%. How's, how's that? Uh, Electronic Arts, 12.3%. NetEase, 2.9%. Uh, taken away from it. Priceline's down 4.5, 86 bucks. You got Viacom off 3.4, that's having a tough time. Uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines uh, off 2%. Uh, maybe that has to do with Priceline or somehow tied in, or maybe they're just both. Yeah, so if we go over to uh, Priceline, you get a gap down. I mean, it looks like Priceline, what's saving it right now is 1805. It hit 1802. That's the last time it had any juice. And if that breaks that 1805, then see you later. Then the next level, 
1746. Yeah, big numbers. Big, big numbers, no doubt. Uh, and let's go over to Disney. So if we do take a look at Disney, what you're going to see, Disney it looks like it's going to be an ABC down, folks, okay? It's taken out the, yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's taken out the swing point. Now, what's really cool about this, you can see how these ABC structures work. You came off the high, so someone knew something last week, something came out, because we went from 116. That was some of the firings, too, which caused it, they, they laid off 100 people at ESPN. Oh, okay, so we went big. down to 109. You had 10 million shares traded. It trades up two days, so watch. You're down on 10 million. You go up the next day on 5.8. You go up the next day on 5.9. And then yesterday, you do 9.3. Today, we've already done six. Yeah, almost and seven. You, you're breaking the B point. You're breaking it with volume, so your A point is 116.10, your B is 109, so you got uh, seven bucks. Your C is 112, so you're talking 10, uh, 105. 105, and Disney would be lucky if guess, it stops at 105. <laughs> guess what? Well, they, they, so watch, there's 105 right there. Sure. Yep. Now, 105 on Disney, folks, is going to do some real damage in the aspect. Now, this is where this gets really wild. Price isn't really that bad. I mean, it went from 120 to 105, right? But what you have is that because it consolidated so long at the top, that gets everyone in a losing yeah. position. All the way to December 9th. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what you want to be looking at also when you're actually going down, you know, all going up. Sure. When you're going up, it's in the positive, that's for sure. sure. Right? When you're going down, different animal, man. Whole different animal. Um, you know, the gold equities, they're catching a bid. Let's jump back to oil and see if it's getting any action as it jumps around. Yeah, just hanging around at almost that forty-seven dollars. Yeah, we'll see where it shakes out. You know, if we go over to the uh, GDX, we take a look at the GDX. Um, this day, this baby's catching a bid. You're you're, you're twenty-two oh one, and inside that twenty-one ninety-five, you get some action. You know. That's because that's the last time that we were down with big volume inside the GDX. Now, that was still coming into the strength with lighter volume, but, you know, you're getting back inside that, and if we can stay back inside that, that's that's quite a feat. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, and, of course, uh, Franco, FNV, Franco Nevada come out with numbers last night. They were good numbers. That's up a buck 28. Uh, Silver Wheaton, well, here, what? we'll look at the numbers here first. So, they beat, they beat everything, actually. Okay. Um, yeah, there is earnings twenty five versus twenty two cents. Yeah. Revenue one seventy two versus one sixty. Right. So decent number. Boost their quarterly dividend to twenty three cents from twenty two cents. It was estimated to be twenty three, I guess, but yeah. Yeah. And what a business that you know, it's amazing. The royalty business, look at they only have twenty six employees. Not bad. Yeah. So companies worth twelve billion dollars. Right. So the royalty business, folks, what happens is that you make a deal, you're really like a banker. You're making a deal with the mines. Sure. You're buying the royalties, and you can see right here, gold royalties, they take in 518 million. Oil and gas, 42 million. I don't even know what this is. We should find out, though. Yeah. What, how do you pronounce that? Sabad Sabodala? Sabodala? Yeah. yeah. 26 maybe million. Maybe that's a mine or we'll, something we'll that take they some have. Of those. That could be, you know, a mine yeah. that they own themselves, maybe. Yeah. Nickel royalties, 8 million, and PGM royalties. Uh, 14 million. Let's go over and we take a look at uh, Royal Gold. So that's caught a small bid. That's up 28 cents. And inside this, they're all gold royalties, I believe. Yeah. There you go. 359 million. And they have 21 employees. <laughs> 4.6 billion dollar company. Not bad. Yeah. And the other one, though, is what, 12? 12. 12. 12. 12. Yeah. Okay. So each each employee is almost accounting for five hundred million dollars in market cap. Not bad. Imagine that. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. That is. Uh, let's go take a look at the uh, XLE and see if any of these are getting any juice. You get the XLE up ninety-seven cents, sixty-eight dollars and twenty cents. You're gonna need a lot more volume than this, but twenty million. It's not bad. It's five point five million. You're going into twenty. We take a look at Exxon. One more time. Oh, so this is I okay. This is this is where this gets deviant, folks. That it, it's actually good that Exxon did this. So what Exxon did, it actually opened lower, 
and it's staying in the range. This is actually a pretty good setup. I like this setup. So Exxon looks like it could actually run to 83.87. That's the top of that range. Yep. And Chevron's set up the same way. Now, what's going to be intriguing here is that, you know, both of these had got killed. And if, in fact, if they start running, that's going to give some help to the Dow Industrial. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Oil went from, what, 54 to almost 45? Yeah. So if it gets yeah. some, some, some momentum back to the upside, definitely. That was a big move down. Yeah. And uh, Apple's <laughs> coming off its high. Quite a move in Apple, right? Oh, yeah. my God. Seriously. Can't even see that blip down today. It's such nope. a rise. You know. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's up 50% it's up in six months. <laughs> six, 50 percent, five zero. Let's go see how quite a number to put fifty percent on too. Rich Jeff Bezos is this morning. A M Z N. <laughs> Seriously, right? <laughs> so ah, oh, it's down four dollars. It's the end of the world for him. <laughs> What's he got? Eighty million shares. Uh, he's down about three hundred and twenty million dollars in, in net worth. Eighty million on the dot. Unreal. Eighty, one sixty, two forty, three twenty, three hundred and twenty million dollars. Ah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are back coming right like back tomorrow. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Dow's down fifty five. Nasdaq's off eleven. S and P's are down two. We're gonna be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So Dow right now uh, is down 50. Nasdaq's off 11. S&P's off a buck and a half. 
And uh, oil uh, is, is keeping that bid, 47 bucks it looks like, right? Yeah, just above 47 last time we checked on it. Yeah, just above it. And you said, ah, oh, maybe I should have made that trade, right? I said, ah, oh, we got 19 minutes left until expiration, and you're barely above profitable here, you know? Right. Um, so the the verdict is not in just yet, that's for sure. You know, let, let's go into the uh, the S&P for a second, because sure. the the... Volatility is still so low, folks. It's just phenomenal. It is. I, and, uh, you know, as we're saying that, of course, but guess what? The market's not moving. The market's not moving. <laughs> that S&P is not moving. It's so those not. option players are right. You yeah, know? well, they're right so far, right? Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, so here's the trade that you're in, right? So you get your short five contracts. You got in at 23.87.4 at about 9 in the morning. Yeah. So these are the daily spreads. And, you know, you're getting in right at the premium. You said it's almost like a binary. And this one's almost like a binary. It's, it's somewhat, it really is. You know, it, it I is. paid a couple bucks in premium, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the market... And you should, because it's, yeah, like, so cheap. The market was probably trading just above 2390, maybe 2391. Yes, right. So you're looking at maybe, right. like, three or four points of S&P. Right. And it's all premium, of course, because the ceiling's 2390. So right now you're trading at 2391. So, you know, if it expires where it is, you lose everything. Right. And it is, you know, you you get below twenty three ninety, and that's where you start but getting it was some cheap. value. What, what did I pay a contract? It was cheap, whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, eighty seven point four. So you're paying twenty six dollars per contract yeah. for the other side of four hundred. Right. For um, right. forty points in the S and P. Right. And I'm not expecting forty points, by the way. But right, and that's yeah. why you're saying it's kind of like a binary because right. you know you got in at twenty three eighty seven point four, so twenty six. So if it gets to even twenty three. 85 right. you're getting 50 dollars back you put up 26 right so maybe that's your realistic you know um yeah. i was looking at some binaries today same thing and i decided to go into i have the 2372s so at the time that i made these at about 8 30 this morning yeah um you know, more time, of course, in the market. You had over two hours extra. You had the market open, which priced in some volatility. Right. But I think I sold it at ninety-two fifty. So I'm risking about seven dollars and fifty cents okay. for the ninety-two fifty on the right. other side. And you know, you you were looking at about nine points in S and P movement for the day. Risking seven fifty to make ninety two fifty, almost like a fifteen to one. Right. I was okay with that getting a few contracts. No, no. You know, we'll I, see what happens. That's an I know. It's because <laughs> the way I see it, you know, no matter what happens with the actual Russia investigation, the FBI director, all that stuff, it's just going to create more distractions for Congress to get to what the market is wanting them to get to, which is which you is know, a tax, right? Which is taxes, yeah, you know, which right. is bringing the money back from overseas, the one time right. tax on those that right. all those funds over there. Um, this is yet another thing that the Congress is going to have to deal with. They're going to have to field questions for. Maybe there'll be more hearings. Either way, it's a distraction. We all know that. And right. Anything that distracts anybody is a distraction and slows things down. I know. I Listen, I, I, I get it. it. The amazing part is that it just looks like the market wants to sit here until they can get that money back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's all future optimism, and, and it's really uh, tough to change that when, when that's still coming down the pipeline. We were having this conversation yesterday, right? And yeah. I said, no matter what happens, the expectation, the tax reform is coming, and that's a correct, uh, you know, yeah. expectation. Right. It's coming, and, and just how long is really the, the, the thing that's most debatable, I think, as to when is it yes. coming, you know? Yes. And, and it seems like it seems like it just keeps getting pushed back, though. You know, like this. Oh, no, listen, We're now I, over 100 days in, and you hear people talk about maybe 2018. Well, guess what? 2018 is going to be an election year, too. That's right. not easy to get things done right. on that accord when people have to be out there running on what they're doing, and, and that becomes more difficult sometimes. Yeah. We'll oh, see there's, what happens. There's, the, the, long, the longer that it lays out there, there's, there's no doubt the more probability that it's going to be a heavier fight. Yes, you know, right. But right. that's what it really comes down to. Right. I mean, know. it's getting pushed back because it's not easy. So it's not getting pushed back because they're saving the easy work. You know. I right. Mean, so so it's not like when it, the time comes, it's just going to be check the boxes and get it done. So it'll be really intriguing if the market just wakes up in one of these mornings and say, you know what? I, th I thought today might have been the morning, at least for the open. I thought that some some fear might have come in just for to say, you know what? There's going to be more, because you know, let's say that a committee does get created. Yeah. Now. Well, then they're going to be coming out with information. And who knows if they'll get created. But if they're not created, there's going to be pressure to get created. And if they are created, they're going to be driving the news with things they're really interested. There's, there'll be a lot of distractions. Oh, there's, there's, yeah. there's no doubt. Yeah. You know, but guess what? The market doesn't care. They don't care. The, the market is saying that, guess what? We should just put text. All is fine we're, and good, and we're going to plaster it on there. Yeah. Well, the, the, what's going to be so cool here is watching just how this does shake out, folks, because the... The reality is, well, the fundamental reality would be that these companies 
have made money, but they're at huge PEs, okay? So you're paying for that, yeah. right? The complacency that's in the market is very unusual. It, it, and when complacency happens and high PE happens, most of the time you're gonna get a pullback. That's, and it's just a matter of where it's coming from. And what the market has shown thus far is that it's the Teflon market. It is. You know, there, there's, you know, and, and guess what? With me even saying that, we're probably much closer to a freaking downdraft. Because we'll, when, see. <laughs> when it, when it, well, when it gets to the point, I don't believe it yet, okay? But when it gets to the point that when someone has been as, as bearish as I have, that is saying, okay, it's still the Teflon market. Well, right. you know, I, I know better, but guess what? Every day that you wake up, that, you know, basically can shake anything off, well, you know. It's like, can't okay. do that forever, right? Well, then you can't do that forever, but even in your own head, you say, well, guess what? It's another three months. Uh oh, you listen, know? we've had, you know. We thought when, when, when we fired 60 missiles over there, maybe that would just provide a little angst. You know, market's like, nope, no big deal. FBI well, director no, it, gets... Well, no, it did angst for 30 seconds. I know, it's like, what, <laughs> what are you talking about? Did I miss something? Yeah, FBI director gets fired, so there really is nothing stepping in the way. And there's a lot uh, of political instability right now, not just here in terms of, but you know, you talk about North Korea, all that looming in the mix. No fear, no fear at all. And even South Korea just elected a new president who might be at odds with, you know, American policy oh, and yeah, American yeah. presence for a while. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I, I would, I, I can tell you this, I would much rather be talking than fighting when you get an enemy beside you that close. That that's, and you know that they're, you know, it's a tough situation. They're, they're, they're both tough. It's, we didn't go through that Korean War. 33,000 people died in that Korean War. So guess what? No matter what we may think, I can't picture someone right next to them saying, okay, we want another war. Well, I was saying to you yesterday, I heard people, supporters of the new president, who were saying, you know, um, we can't put the North in a box because they'll lash out. And, yeah, you know, fear. if you're next to them, right. I would understand that because, unfortunately, you They're know, and this dead. isn't, you know, a Trump Republican. This has been the, the American policy for a long time. So right. it, it would be, you know, Hillary would have the same policy, I think, going in there pretty much of being a staunch, um, hard-nosed, you know, not maybe playing friendly, as in right. they've done sanctions, they closed down a big industrial zone where the South was working with the North, and so that stuff they might want to bring back, and it, you know, you understand why, because he is a crazy man, I think we all can agree with that, oh, yeah. you know, um, leading yeah. North Korea, and you put somebody like that in a box, and, right. and, you know, they lash out, unfortunately, this isn't, you know, a small fight, they will fire missiles that could just wipe out South Korea, so maybe, but, again, just Time will tell and we'll see how that shakes out, but it'll play out somehow. No doubt. Yeah. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the XAU, the HUI. So uh, XAU, that's a nice bid. Okay, XAU is up a buck 70. You're at 81.89 and anything inside 81.83, you get action, meaning top side action um, and breaking the downtrend. Uh, Gold Bugs Index up 463 and you're inside uh, 189.15, that's good. You know, you have to build some more cars, make it up a little bit higher, but it's gotta start. Silver, silver needs that bid. Let's call up Andy. Heck, tell him to buy some silver for us. We'll do it. Okay. We'll get him on the break. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow's down 40, Nasdaq's off 12. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is down 30. NASDAQ's off 11. S&P's a flat. Let's go take a look at that oil contract. Yeah, so, so it's it's continuing to climb a little bit. I just jumped into the binaries. We'll have some okay. of the binaries on the right, but this will be the cut, the chart that loads. Forty seven thirty two. I oh, believe we're going to load that. That's a good. That's a good pop. Yeah. So you know those those spreads we were looking at were a dollar fifty spreads. They went from forty six fifty up to forty eight would be um, and where you had profit potential all the way up to. If it would even, I'm just, you know, if it, if it just kept accelerating in right. the next five minutes. But yeah, so you're looking at about 80 cents, um, $80 in value for the 32. That was a big miss, again, and coming off the API, you know, a 3 million barrel miss right. to the same way that the API came in, you know, as in yes. all momentum to the upside for the price of oil. Yeah, looks like we'd be paying more money at the pumps coming soon. Yeah, so let's see did that, uh, let's see if that translated into the gasoline market, because it's been amazing gasoline the unleaded gas where that's gone too oh there it is yeah it's up 2.2 percent okay yeah. so it's up three and a half pennies because look at that let me yeah. gasoline folks in the last six months have gone from 188 wholesale to 148 today we're at 152 it's pretty cool man. yeah no big moves it's, i know that was i mean and that's what you know oil was above 54 which seems foreign right now as we're at 45 right yeah and that's huge you're talking about nine dollars of oil trading at 54. It's almost a 20% decline. Huge numbers. Uh, there's no doubt. Yeah. Let's go take uh, NQ. This will be interesting. So the Dow is pulling back, but uh, one of the targets just gave me a heads up in here, and you're, and you're, you're right. This is interesting. That uh, the NQs, you know, we're, at, we're down 16. Maybe Apple's weighing on that a little. It could be. We saw Apple with some big declines yeah. there. And all the NQs need, right? We're at 56.60, folks. You get below 56.58, then you're going to see, you know, 53, yeah. which would be really intriguing because the NQs have been strong like bow. I mean, in an incredible way too. And uh, let me just see Nvidia. So Nvidia is up 14 dollars and 77 cents, and that's not pulling back at all. <laughs> And that has a, I think this has a high volume high anyway when I was looking at this. It's got to get tested. Yeah, there it is. So, 119.23. And you've hit 118.25. 
And both of those, you know, the second test up there wasn't bad, 22 million. So it looks like it's gonna test it. Now the danger for this one is gonna be like, okay, if it doesn't hit it today, and then it, it dies in the vine, it uses all its strength just to get there and then dies. Yeah. But that, yeah. that, that NVIDIA has been one strong Oof. stock, man. I mean, when that thing took off. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of, searing a lot of, you know, stock of the year last year, just in, and you can't knock it when it goes, what, tenfold almost? Yeah, and electronic arts, you know, I mean, it's amazing that, you know, I remember how many times they, they were talking about that, like, that used to be video games, and now it's digital. I mean, they're powerhouse. That's a powerhouse, man. That's yeah, thirty-three billion dollar company. <sighs> Isn't that crazy? And look at that. They take in. This is just amazing. So, they take in four point nine billion a year. What's remarkable is, I mean, that's been quite an in, you know increase yeah. in their overall numbers. But man, look at the earnings. They were they were barely profitable. They weren't even profitable in the beginning of two thousand thirteen. Yeah. And now they're pulling in you know almost four dollars per share. Wow. Yeah. And, and and look at that. So it's consoles. Look at that. Three point four billion in consoles. So Electronic Arts. Do they have a console? Is that the that that would be the Microsoft consoles? And then they're using. Like, I'm not sure how that's classified yeah. in there. That that just because I'm just not. They make a lot of money off video games as well. Still, I believe. So I'm, no, I think that that's the video game that goes into the console. That's it. Yeah. So that's probably. Look at that. That was a quick That hour. was quick, man. You stay right there, folks. Basil Chapman's coming up next. And of course, uh, Think of Swim, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. And guess what, folks? Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.